All right, welcome back from break. Uh, we are ready to get back into it, starting with the first, the first strike. Uh, we've all chosen our initiative, so I'll go through and choose the first card for each um, monster enemy here, and I'll kind of explain how those work. So, uh, as you can see, the shaman is going to shaman is going to. <laughs> he has a initiative of 23 which is on the left so that's his initiative order uh and then sometimes characters will actually not just like this one will not take any attack action this round so what he's going to do is heal or first he's going to move uh which it doesn't mean that he moves is because it says plus zero that doesn't mean he only moves zero because you have to look at his base move uh which is uh one no two because he's elite so he actually moves two spaces, up to two spaces, and then he will heal uh, a friendly at range three. But since he's the only one friendly to himself, I imagine he has to heal himself. So he's going to be healing That's himself. That's awesome. Yeah, healing himself for no reason. Yeah, he's, waste he's just going to finish his drink. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess if he's, I guess if he's higher on the initiative order, he may need to heal himself. <laughs> yeah. True. All right. So the guards, uh, they have initiative seventy. They're going to be moving, um, but their base speed is reduced by one. And then whoever, they're drunk. Yeah. And then whoever they move up next to, they're going to attack at a plus one. So they move uh, a little bit less, but they that's added, I guess it adds to their power of their swing. Mm. And, okay. And then finally, the archers uh, are going to move at a minus one and attack at a minus one. And then they create a three damage trap in an adjacent empty hex closest to an enemy. So that'll interesting. Be interesting. Yeah. I like to imagine that they're throwing down their glass to pull out their bow, and then their glass shatters <laughs> becomes and becomes a trap. A trap. It's Cal yeah. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> so they. Uh, so it looks like the archers have the lowest initiative. So uh, and then shaman and then guard. Cool. So uh, now we're ready to flip over our initiative cards. Or our action cards. And mine, my initiative is eight. So I'm before the monsters. Is anybody else before the mon the archers of 14? No. No. Okay. Not me. All right. So I guess I have to go first then. Um, All right. Oof. Rat pit. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so I actually am going to use my my augment first. So the mind flare, I'm assuming this is uh, this is one of those cards that, as I mentioned earlier, is an active card. So this is, I guess, my buff, my attack stance, or something like that um, that I get to keep out. So the little infinity icon with the red arrow on the top part that that lets you know you keep it out active. The only thing that can discard it is if I play another augment card later on in the in the game. Cool. I have to discard it. So uh, on my melee attacks, I get to add plus two to every attack. Jeez. And wow. I also get to do an attack right now for an attack one, which is modified by two, so it's actually three, right? I'm assuming that's I'm reading that right. Yeah, and you still get to draw a card on top of that. Oh, no, I discard this card when another augment is played. What are you talking right. about? Oh, your attack modifier deck, I mean. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. So you get so, an experience. Too, oh, I see. Yeah. So and then I do get an experience because I'm playing the top part of that card. So I move up That's by cool. one, and wow. then um, so I guess I've got to do this attack. It's a three attack, and then I also am going to draw my modifier. So I think I don't know if you guys think the bandit guards have less hit points than the Inux guard. So I'm thinking I might hit him first, the bandit guard. Uh, sound yeah. sounds good. Plus the one of the guards have retaliate too. Oh, that's right, that's right. And luckily, I just thought about this. Um, oh, it's only the elite. Oh, yeah. Only the elite ones. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad so. this is also not a range attack because if you, I would be at a disadvantage. So, um, it's so I'm gonna draw my modifier card plus zero. So it's just ah. a three damage on the bandit guard and the bandit guard doesn't have anything blocking right no uh none of the regular yeah have any kind of buffs so any of them. he has a looks like for uh 
Oh, that's right. They they don't have any defense. Sorry. So I take I give him three damage, and he is bandit guard three. So wow, he's... nice. Half health. All right. So he's so he is halfway dead, and then I'm gonna use the bottom half of this other card, uh, which is an attack of one, but it's modified by plus two, so it's a th a three attack. But a four, unfortunately, it's ranged, so I'm gonna have to draw a disadvantage. All right, so I I make a discard pile right for my modifier deck. Yeah. If okay. you if you do yeah. want to use the range, could you attack one of the other guys? Is somebody else in range? That's true. I could. You you can choose to skip any step. You have to go in the order of the card, but you can choose to just skip. Well, what Nikki it. was asking is if I should choose a different a different guy so that I don't have yeah. a disadvantage. What do you guys think? Yeah, I don't. I think the elite is in range of you. Well, you can stun one of them. Doesn't that prevent them from attacking? Yes. If I if I hit someone, I will stun them. Well. Yeah, I would say. Oh yeah, if you that's could. Really good. I would say stun one of the, the archer, melees. Although elite. you can, yeah, you could stun the elite so it doesn't hit you. The bandit and, archer. Because I'm he... moving towards him. Okay. He he deals the full damage then. Hopefully. Right. Yeah. Okay, so I'm doing three attack right now at a range of two. And so, thankfully, the bandit archer is within two range. Oh, it says melee attack plus two attack. On your melee attacks oh, plus two. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, but it's wow. a ranged anyway, so. Yeah. So range yeah. one, my modifier. Ooh, double Ooh. damage. Which sucks. Of one. Yeah. <laughs> only have one. Yeah. So I'm, in, I'm go I am doing two damage, and he the I don't believe the archers have any kind of defense, right? So uh, this is elite archer two, so he'll take two damage. Nice, good job. And he's and, stunned. Yeah, and he's stunned. Um, can someone put a stun token on him? Which one? It's uh, this one. Okay. And then like I get an XP for that as well, and I infuse the. Battlefield with winter. Ooh. Ooh. Oh shit, bum, that's bum, the bum, element. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah. I think that's Oh, so I didn't pick that card in my deck. Stunning Never. is a figure is stunned, it can't perform any abilities or use items on its turn. <gasps> that's that's, long rest. Oh, that's, oh that's that's for characters. Um doesn't say for monsters exactly. Hmm. But I, I would guess what does that mean turn? for monsters? Yeah, I thought if they were stunned, they couldn't do anything. I think it can move. Well, no. Any well, abilities or I use items on its turn, but then it says that's in the case of characters. What does it mean for monsters? Well, I think enemies are characters also. Oh, I think the in the case of characters only refers to the rest. Not the hmm. use Not of the abilities. heroes? Oh, okay. Yeah, so it says if a figure is stunned, it cannot perform any abilities or use items on its turn except to perform a long rest in the oh, case yeah. of the character. Yeah, if, if so it's... That... Okay. Yeah. Okay. And it says it goes away at the end of its next turn. Is that mm -hmm. this turn? Yeah, it, go it, would, okay. it would go away after it takes its turn, which it would skip. Okay. Yeah. Nice work. Nice work. That's great. All right, so the archers have to go next. Um, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> so I guess we'll... Uh, start on the left here with this bandit elite, elite archer uh it looks like they're two away from the he's two away from the spell weaver and the inox guard so nikki what's your i am initiative? 21 okay so, so he'll attack yeah, me yeah he's nah. two, away from, two away from me too so but my initiative's lower i mean higher oh okay so. yeah all right, so the uh, the bandit archer is going to be doing. Uh, looks like. It it shoots at a range of five, so you're within range, and it's going to do three damage, and then we have to shuffle the modifier deck. And oh, it, don't forget it. Oh yeah, it's minus modifier. one attack this round, so it's only at two damage right now. Plus its modifier card. Uh, back up to three damage. Wow, oh, bummer, man. Oh, yeah. that hurts. So much. <laughs> and it creates a trap. Oh, right. So these trap tokens uh, closest to its enemy. So I'm, a gu I'm guessing here? 
Yeah, it's just as closest to an enemy, which is all of us, I guess. So, yeah. um, or, do you, or do you think it would make it here, considering it's... these people haven't gone yet? Yeah, it might be a good spot if you're playing like AI does the worst <clears throat> thing, you know. Yeah. yeah, I think that's probably a good spot. Okay. So the that next... trap looks an awful lot like treasure. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Don't pick it up. Uh, how much? How much did the traps do? Three now? Yeah. This and this. Difficulty? This guy's particular trap, yeah, the says three. Oh. But in our scenario, I think it's different. I'll look I think that it's up. two and three. Two for the gold they drop and. Ah. Uh, okay. Right. Okay. So. Th so. How do we remember that that does three? It just always does three? It says it on his card here. Well, I know that, but like we're going to eventually I'll put, put I'll another put, card uh, on top of that. I'll put it in the description oh. of the thing, so when you hover over it, it'll say three damage. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. cool. Okay. Okay. Thank All you. right. So the next archer here is a, a regular archer. Uh, he is going to be... He's a regular bandit archer, so he's going to be doing... He's at a range of four and doing two damage. I believe the shaman is the closest one, right? Looks like everything else is three or more away. Wait, the bandit uh, archer has a range of four? Uh, max art. Uh, I'm sorry, am I looking at the wrong one? The is it, it two? Or am I looking at the wrong thing? Uh, if you look at the bow and arrow, it's uh, four or five, depending on whether it's normal or elite. So he's a range of four. Right. Because he's a normal and one. Then the, yeah, and then the damage that he does is two. He can move two base and then five health. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so he's going to be shooting at the Inox sh Shaman. Ooh, so, uh, so he actually reduces damage by two because of his AI card. Yeah. So there's actually no damage there. But a trap. All oh, right, so he does put a trap down. So where would he put his trap? This is going to be a really interesting bar fight. There's probably be, yeah. probably a lot here. Of traps yeah, closest traps to that guy since right. he's melee. He'll yeah. trigger it. They, these traps will be interesting. Trying to yeah. get around them. Yeah. yeah. All right. So the next. Yeah, we didn't have to deal with that last game. <laughs> yeah. The next archer is the stunned one, so he just loses his stun and then he's done for the round. And so now the archers are finished. Nice. You got this one? That's the one that shot oh, the shaman. Oh, right? crap. There's actually two. There's this one up here. Okay. These two in the middle yeah. are yeah. the so last. So we got to do the Inox archers, yeah. Uh, so the Inox archer, let's see. He's one, two, three from the shaman. One, two, three from the other archer. One, two, three. So he would actually shoot this archer, right? I'm assuming because... Everybody's tied at three. The archers. Well, he will three. only hit bandits. He won't hit Shum Inox. The Inox archer is the one you're looking at, right? This Inox archer. I oh, know. I thought you were looking at the the non elite one. Oh no, I forgot to do oh, this okay. one too. <clears throat> so yeah, I so he'll like, he'll go like toward the the bandit guard, probably. Either one of them, the elites. Well, don't the well, ban the bandit guards have a lower initiative and the shaman. He's not going to attack his own race, though. I thought that everybody was an enemy no. to everybody yeah. else. Yeah, they're all enemies, it says. Um, everybody's Every an enemy with everybody except us. Yeah. Oh, I thought... Oh, I thought it was... I thought... We didn't... We played it that way last time? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was that the Inox hate the humans and the humans hate the Inox and yeah, that everyone's was, fighting now. Yeah, that was in the story, but for some reason it says in the rules every every figure is an enemy to every other figure. Oh, hmm. okay. Yeah. Interesting. yeah, it's crazy. Big bar fight. It's really weird. Yeah, so the Inox... Right. So the I Elite Inox has a range of four and is doing three damage uh, so far. And then with the his... A range of four? <sighs> Or actually, he's doing, uh, did I say three damage? He's doing two damage because yeah. of the modifier, or the AI card. So, oh, plus zero. Okay. So two damage to Inox Archer 2. And then he also puts a trap down. So where should we put that? Do 
just anywhere near that same guy, I guess. I'm not. Maybe I in, guess he. Maybe in, in the middle, him. yeah. That's the guy that fired, right? Yeah. Goes, Why would he put it right in front of himself? It has to be adjacent. It has to be adjacent. Adjacent to him, empty so. hex. And nobody's going to, like, come across the table at them, probably. Yeah. So. Adjacent to an enemy. Heck. No, an, an empty, no, adjacent to him. Empty hex closest to an enemy. Right. This yeah, is the guy that fired. He can't, yeah. he can't throw the trap. It's not a ranged trap. The trap goes into an adjacent hex next to him in the direction closest toward an enemy. Oh, yeah. 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 That's language is a little bit. I see. Yeah. Yeah. I think there are some things that have ranged traps, but that's that's not one of them. Okay, cool. All right, so finally the last Inex Archer that's basic. Um, he has a range <laughs> of three. Um, so is, he's going to actually... Oh, no, he's two away from this Bandit Archer. So he is going to shoot the Bandit Archer because there's nobody else that's closer... Ooh, he might kill this archer. Ooh. Because you already shot that archer and stunned. Crap. Yeah. Ooh. Well, we'll see. So he he only is going to do two damage, so it wouldn't take much to cancel it. Um, Actually, he's only doing one damage right now. And it's a minus two, so no Ayo. damage. Ayo! <laughs> wow. So I guess we got to kill that guy. <laughs> yeah. All right, so the archers are done. The next up for the enemies are the, the are 23. So if anybody's got lower than 23. Me. Nice. All right. I'm going to come in and deal some damage. Um, so I think I'm going to use the top part of my Freezing Nova card. Cool. And so I do need some help understanding Ooh, this. Ooh, you so can consume winter, too. Oh, Is that, okay, that's yeah. how to give you sure. a that's plus that, one attack. Yeah, that's what that means. Woo! Nice. She knew that was coming. She knows what she's doing. Yeah, combo, exactly. Combo. <laughs> Hell yeah. C -c -c combo. So I have an attack of three then. Right. I target all adjacent enemies and I immobilize them. Yes. That's awesome. Nice. That's a good attack. That is cool. I'm hey, that's go. a very Jaina spell right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I draw a damage modifier for each enemy, correct? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and draw one for the Enoch Scarred first. I got a plus Ooh. one, so I just oh, dealt fort, fort damage. Nice. And then I will now draw for the Bandit Guard. To Enoch Scarred. Plus zero. Oh, Enoch Scarred three okay. received four damage. And Bandit Guard four received three damage. Nice. And they don't have... They don't have resistance or anything. No uh, shielding. No. Nope. Okay. Nope. Just the elites. And Only Enoch's... the elites in every class have anything. Bandit, and then I'm oh, going to draw four. Immobilize four. on them now. Bandit guard four took how much? Three. Your second. Oh, three. Okay. All right. Cool. Nope. You just chunked half of both of their health. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and ice bombs. And you spent the uh, the ma the uh. ice magic. Thank you. Do I yeah. put my damage modifiers and in shuffle them back in, or uh, no? You don't. Discard? You don't shuffle them until you get one that says a recycle symbol on it. How that little so rat bring? You can winter. just leave it face up next to oh. your pile, and then once you pull one that has a little, it's like two arrows, like recycling. Oh, yeah. that's right. And okay, you'll cool. shuffle them together. Uh, so that was my top card. My bottom like, card. Uh, I'm gonna move three. Gabe drew a shuffle one, so his two times modifier oh, yeah. has the little yeah. symbol on it, so he gets to shuffle them back in. Mm, okay. It's the Ouroboros. Uh, yeah. So, one, yeah. Sorry, I'm deciding where to move now. Uh, definitely don't move next to an elite guard. They haven't gone yet, and they hurt. I might I, go over here by the archer... So if I is the one, shaman two, ranged? Oh, the uh, shaman's yeah. not going to move. He's done. He's only going to he heal himself. Ranged. Oh, he's just healing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he hasn't gone. You're right. Yeah. But he. I think this healing. is my safest spot. What do you guys think? Yeah, the archers have already gone. The and, only yeah. thing I'm worried about is that those guards, if they fight each other, they're both really low now. But they can't move though, right? So they, so they can't. To. They can't. Yeah. They can't. Yeah. They can't move for like a whole turn or yeah. what? Yeah, for yeah. A whole the, turn. Why did the stun come off the the uh, archer? Aren't they stunned for a full turn? They are, but they're only stunned for their their next turn. And the archers went right after I did. 
So technically, oh, okay. his turn was skipped. Yeah. Yeah. So, so these the guys guards will skip. Yeah. But the guards haven't gone right. yet, so they'll, they'll they'll get their shit taken off at the end. Right. At the It'll end of their yeah. okay. Yeah. But they won't fight each but, other, so I but will But next have... turn they might, yeah. is what I'm yeah. saying. Right, right. So we have to kill them before... Mm -hmm. Before they go. I'm home. hoping okay. I can be speedy again and throw some range stuff their way. And now I've positioned myself near the ranger. So if they try to attack me or beat me next turn, they will do a disadvantage attack oh. towards me. So uh, I'm thinking okay. this is the best spot, but... I, I think so. Yeah, you don't you don't want to give them a free shot if they're immobilized by just staying there. So you right. had to be somewhere. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's good. I think that's it for me then. So so your two action cards will go on the left side because you didn't. Uh, if it had an X uh, white card with an X on it for that ability that you played, then it would go to the lost. But because um, oh, because I played the top right. Be and because there's no card with an X on it, yeah, for the top and bottom what actions that you did do. Yeah. Cool. Sweet. All right. So, so I was 21. All right. So now we're up to 23, unless anybody else, nobody else is, right? Not quite. Nope. All right. So we have the the lonely shaman is going to move, and his movement is two, and then he'll heal. So. He's not damaged yet, right? Uh, no. Right. right. No. Okay. So, so he, I'm trying to remember how do they how do they move based on like getting away from people? Yeah, they find a focus target first, and then they move accordingly, and then attack mm -hmm. is the order of things. But he's not going to be attacking anyone, right? Right, and so. he. So the only thing he wouldn't want to do is move anywhere near a guard. That's what I think. Yeah. Right. Then we'll just play it like smart ai after that so really so he might move to toward the archer so they're at disadvantage right oh yeah that's true like he could move like toward the elite archer maybe or the other one either way like that one really yeah or maybe here because he's kind of blocked by these tables yeah he could move two right two yeah yeah okay and then he's gonna heal which doesn't do anything and so he's done Cool. All right, Joe's turn. Shaman. All right. Um, yeah, I'm a 29. I think I'm gonna go kind of different. I gotta. Oh, no. I'm gonna hit and run, hopefully. So I'm gonna do the top. Um, uh oh, I played the wrong card. Shit. I'm sorry. Does go it ahead. affect? Oh, okay. Say, so, will it affect your initiative or anything? No, it won't affect my initiative, but I. I picked two cards that have the oh. top ones were the things I wanted to use. Oh, yeah. Uh -oh. I mean, you can replace one. I mean, it's just our first round, so. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm going to do that. Figure out what the heck I want to do. Damn we're on tutorial mode. Yeah, first round's tutorial mode. We'll, we'll say next round. No takesies. Takesy yeah. daxy. Um, okay. But I, 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 but I did that the last time, the last episode we played, I think. I did the same thing. Oh. Um, I've got this opposing strike. I'm going to do the top of this right-hand side. Um, so as you can see, I get to attack as the hex symbols. So I get to attack two guys at nice. once. Uh, ahead and behind you. Yes, which is exactly how they're lined up, right? I didn't screw mm -hmm. that up. You got um, it. Because I'm right here. Yeah. So yeah, it's attack three, and I get an experience. Let me just roll that up. Do you get an experience per enemy or just for the move? Just for the general attack. Yeah, I it'll think. say, it'll say uh, in, inside the little star if you get more than just one. So I here's feel like one it takes a lot of skill to hit two guys. That's true, especially if one of them is behind you. I know. Yeah. So here's my modifier. Minus one. Awesome start. For so, which enemy? Oh, that's true. I should have specified. <laughs> I will say this is for the Inex guard. Cool. So it's down to two, and then he is an elite. They have something. He has a retaliate, too. Oh, awesome. So I just hit myself twice. Mm -hmm. but, I... <laughs> but you can also discard a card if you'd like. Okay. Well, I'll take it for now as I get lower. But I still did two damage to him. 
Right. So he is. I, right. I'll do that. Elite guard two. All right. A little bit of something, something. Um, ready for my next one? Yep. Okay, now I'm hitting the other guy adjacent to me, all in one. That's the bandit guard, so here's his modifier. Minus oh. two. I am off to a fantastic start. Daniel Craighart. So, <laughs> so the elite bandit guard won. So he negated my whole attack with my modifier. Oh, I thought he did one damage. No, it was an attack three. I drew a minus two, and he's got a shield. Oh, right? that's right. The bandits have a shield of one. Suck. So that that was my attack, which was really awesome. At the bottom part of my rumbling advance, I get to move two. All adjacent allies and enemies suffer damage. Now, when does oh. that trigger, though? I would imagine it would be anything you're adjacent to, right? At the end of my move? No, I mean the whole moves? way. I, I mean, that's kind of a cool... You're advancing and shaking the ground as you're moving. Seems weird. I, everybody, I move by, uh, so I could like rack up a bunch. Well, just you can only I'm... move two spaces, so it's not like you're going to move very far. But like both of these time... guys right now are going to take a damage that I'm standing next to. Yes. Uh, I and... see well, I'll do this, Gabe. You're going to have to move me because it's doing that weird thing on my screen where half of the board is blacked okay. out. Yeah, I can move you. Just so put me, me in the most tell me direction. I, I want to be just away from these two guards who haven't gone yet. Just so you, so you could do that. Okay. Well, he can move up to two, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can move up to two. And so then if he moves do... in between, whoop, whoop, yeah, and then he can hit the other here. two. God, why are you that... picking that one up? That, that's cool. Okay. How about that? Yeah. So you actually uh -huh. move next to three guys, and then we got to determine if your start starting counted because it would also yeah. hit this guy. Yeah, that's. Uh... Maybe chat if they know that. Um, I've got a move two, and it says all adjacent allies and enemies suffer damage, and I infuse earth. But is it's the like the earth. you're so bulky walking through the bar, you're just spilling everyone's drinks and ruining their days. So I feel like it should count. Like you spilled that guy's drink. <laughs> or like I just run, but when I land, I like kind of run jump, and it's where I land. <laughs> hurts yeah see it's tough i just want to deal damage <laughs> yeah i guess you can if you want to when it's not your turn you could look it up on faq it wouldn't be hard to go back and take that damage off okay but so far you have taken the damage off of everybody i haven't taken it off of anybody yet How, is it one one point of damage um i just lost yeah oh, lost my you know team. what Heroic has a really good point that you execute the text in order. So it seems like he would move to and then all the adjacent that's, enemies oh, receive damage. That's right. Yeah, that He's probably makes sense. Yeah, that. that makes sense. Okay. So okay. the bandit archer takes two. Yeah, thanks for that. Bandit archer takes two. And that's bandit archer two. Or no, it takes one. I'm sorry, right? One damage? Yeah, I got disconnected. It should say Binance my card. Archer. Yes, one. Inex Archer 2. Takes one damage. Okay. And that's that's Craghart. Nice. Woo. And, oh, you already did and the you, element. Yeah. Okay. My biggest damage was moving. Nice. <laughs> there we go. Well, sometimes that's when you can do the most damage. You're a big guy. I am. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So next up, let's see, uh, would be Deb? Yeah. Yeah, because the guards are way higher than you, yeah. Yeah, so I am going to play the top part of my potent potables because I'm anticipating that I'll have to heal a bunch this game. <laughs> so on my next four heal actions, it's a plus two heal. So that's Sweet. pretty dope. Wow. Yeah. Card. So I get to put that, I'm going to put that at the top of my person so oh, keep track of that i just realized the takesy backsy i need to i'm sorry if i oh uh, what so i have my cloak of invisibility i forgot to activate it to make myself invisible because i'm right next adjacent to two guards oh okay sorry did you you know you didn't know one attacked you or anything no one has attacked me uh, now yeah. but right. they will <laughs> pretty yeah <soon>. uh, <laughs> okay. 
Okay. And then, oh God, it took me forever to find a freaking card to go with this. So I'm going to use uh, Immobilize, target one adjacent enemy, and then move two to get the Ooh. heck out of dodge. Yeah, get out of there. That's a bad yeah. spot. So I'm going to Immobilize the Bandit Guard Elite 2, okay. this dude. Boop. And then nice. I'm going to go boop, boop, get me out of here. Nice. nice work. Thank you. All right. So now we're ready for the guards, right? Everybody else is gone. I don't know if That's ready is the threat. right word. Yeah. But. All right. So they're all moving minus one and attacking plus one. So Ouch. if we start on the left-hand side, this Inex guard three doesn't go because he's immobilized. Nice uh, one. And then the Inex guard here does get to go. So the Inex guard elites have a move of two. So either the bandit guard or the bandit archer. Well, he'll come toward the, probably the archer, I guess. Yeah, because he has a lower initiative. And he'll yeah. avoid the damage trap, right? Yeah. Right, they do. They yeah. treat it like an obstacle. Yeah. Okay, so he attacks the bandit archer that is elite. And he's got an attack of three right now. Uh, plus one, it's actually four. Three. Minus one is three. So, it, Joe, would you mind doing the damage so I can keep track? Yes. Uh, which one did you hit? Uh, Bandit Archer Elite One t just took three four. damage. Three? Oh, wasn't it minus one? Yeah, it was minus one it was... from the modifier, right? Oh, the modifier. Sorry, yeah. yeah. I was looking okay. at the card. Okay. Got it. Okay, so this bandit guard's turn now. Uh, actually, both of the ones in this column are immobilized. Nice. And then next we have these two over by Craggy. <laughs> Alrighty. So the bandit guard is either going to... To attack the Ina, so he actually would go for you, right, Joe? Son of a. Sorry. Yeah. They, we were we were equidistant. I was the lower initiative. Right. Before. Right. Yep. All right. So he, that's all right, though. He is doing um, three damage right now. Oh, actually four because of his uh, <gasps> action card. Easy. Ooh, so it's no modifier, just four damage. Oy. Four damage, okay. So the guard in this... hit so hard. The Down guy, to four. Uh, the bandit guard in this column is can't see me. So I'm assuming then he will attack the bandit archer. Or what about the other Enoch's guard? But can he... Can they move through? I guess these half tiles don't count. Right. Can't move through enemies, and they're all enemies to each other, right? Right. They could go across the table, though. Uh, a disadvantage or whatever. Like, doesn't it cost, like, one extra move or something? Would they just not move at all? I don't How think far they can... can they move? Okay, so the bandit guard can move three... No, I'm sorry, two minus one. So he can only move one space. Okay. So I think if I effectively shut him down, right? Because he can't move through me. He can't move. He could move one space this way, but he can't see anybody or reach anybody. Yeah, I don't. So, th I don't know. Do they have to move if they can move? Uh, I think they have to stay close. So maybe he would stay there because he's technically closer to the Inex guard. He just can't move through me because I'm an obstacle. Even even though you're invisible, but they couldn't land on top of you anyway. Right. So. Right. That's a that's a really that's, weird mechanic. That worked out. He's just like I can't move. There's like yeah. something in my way. You're not touching me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. So the next guards, these last two in this last column here. Um, it looks like Joe. They're actually Joe. You lucked out. I think this guy is going to go for the archer. Right. He'll move one space, and then attack bandit archer elite two. I know yes. the archers went before me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. So he is doing um, three damage right now, four with the uh, attack, and modified by plus two. 
Five, Woo! six. So who took that hit? I think the Elite Archer 2 is dead. Dang it. So we just lost our first extra... Wait, shit, how did that happen? Oh, because the archers had lower initiative? Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. So we just lost one that we can't lose. Well, um... Yeah, I was wondering, like, if Joe had moved first and then had done the attacks, that would have... I think it would have killed the elite. Yeah, it's tough to... Oh well, yeah, or the elite, or one of the one of the, yeah, an elite. It would have killed. It would have killed the archer, because he only had like three health left, right? Yeah. Or something. Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah. So if you'd yeah. like moved first, and then done your one damage, and then done your little like spiky, shove punch thing. Yeah, that was true, and it was kind of dumb to hit the guys who have the traits. And this last um, this last guard is actually not going to yeah. do anything either because the closest guard can't get through me and he can only move one. Yeah. So it looks like they're at a stalemate down there. So we've got one more guy as a cushion before mm -hmm. we can't let people kill. Okay. Right. Okay, so that is the end of the round. So now we just have... Mm, um, crap. Sorry, guys. Oh, that's, that's all right. right. So nature goes down one strength, but still available. Uh, if anybody wants to take a short rest, you you would discard. Uh, you lose one of your discards and uh, take take the rest back into your hands. But it has to be a random discard. We can can we do short rest though because we don't have enough cards. Yeah, there's not enough the cards in the discard, so it's not a smart move right now. For yeah. sure. Yeah. All right, so I did have a reshuffle. Did anybody else have a reshuffle? Uh, oh, the shaman did. No. One of the enemies, yeah. Yeah. All right, so we've got reshuffles done, and then now we're back at the top of the round. All righty. Picking one more. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Hey Nikki, do you uh can you possibly use any more uh cold magic? Ye yes. The battlefield already has an element, so I'm I, I love that. All right. So are you planning on I using think... the the natural magic, or you want some ice out there? Uh, I'm okay either way. Okay. Or I could save the ice for another round if you want. Would that be better? I'm looking. I would not be using ice. Okay. Okay. I don't know if that's too specific. <laughs> no, no, that's cool. Who are who's got really low health? Bandit guards are in the threes. Couple yeah. bandit guards. So we got to get those two bandit guards for sure. I I I will be able to take which, out one. Which ones are they? Three They're and the four? one by Nikki and I. Yeah. Okay. I'm hoping to throw some spells their way. The two guys that are over by me, the Enox guard three and bandit guard four. Okay. Because they're pretty low. All right, I'm trying to figure out who to attack. Otherwise, I would say the bandit archers are also looking low. Wherever they are. Uh, you guys are still picking, right? Yes. I'm going to do something, pay no attention, but I did remember that, uh, Gabe, you and I did not read our descriptive cards for our characters. Mm. Yeah, so right. I'll read mine while you guys are picking for the people at home. 
So guys, ahead, yeah. Savas Craghart. <laughs> uh, the Savas, I guess maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong, value power above all else. This severe and ex I'm part of my thing's blocked, so sorry. This severe and exclusionary race has rocky, uneven skin except for their chests, which appear as smooth, transparent glass. Beneath the surface of that glass is a manifestation of their power, energy cores fashioned from the elements they've mastered. Ice, fire, air, and earth. Before Savas masters at least one of these elements and obtains its power as their own, they are considered to be nothing. Thus, from an early age, Savas children study feverishly to gain mastery over a single element, typically spending 20 years of devoted effort to do so. Some Savas have been known to live among their races, among other races, using their elemental mastery in one form or another. But this is largely frowned upon by the majority of the Savas as a base and primitive way to live. There are many Savas who never attain the mastery of an element and are exiled from the society, having no choice but to live among the other races or in solitude. Before a crag heart is exiled, however, they earn their name by having their chest cavity marred and shattered, forever reminding them of their inadequacy. But crag hearts are not without their strengths. Even with no control or mastery, they still have an affinity for their native earth and can display a great feats of strength with their rocky stature. So I suck. I'm a reject of my people, which explains why I had that bad last turn. <laughs> um, so that's what's going on. All right. With the crag heart. So I guess I'm going to... Okay, all right. So I'm on the Vermling Mind Thief. Vermlings are a scavenging animalistic race. They feed off of the flesh of the dead. And when they can't find any of that, they're more than happy to do the killing themselves with crude knives and arrows. They are primitive and weak-willed, easily controlled by more powerful races with the right combination of pandering and, in and intimidation. Left to their own devices, vermlings typically form hunting packs and spend their short lives fulfilling basic needs. Some vermlings do make their way into human society, but they are universally shunned and feared in such settings, forced to live in dark alleys and feed off scraps. Often city-dwelling vermlings will flee to the sewers to escape harassment. There, without their pack to connect with, these vermlings will form strong bonds with the massive rat population. Communication with such a large number of creatures can strain one's mind, though. Where more, most vermlings fail, some rise to the challenges and hone powerful psychic abilities to control the swarms. So-called mind thieves make terrifying opponents through the use of psychic assaults, sharp blades, and swarms of tiny teeth. Rat. Rats, basically. Rat, 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 rat. <laughs> rat Pit <laughs> is his name. Exactly. Those guys are cool. So you and I, I are the like, outcasts. Yeah. Dave. We suck. Yeah. So there's one thing I want to know about Daniel Craighart, though. Craighart. <laughs> Can you put anything in the big hole in Ooh, your chest now? That's... Can you like, store <laughs> stuff in there? I, li I like where you're that's going. That's why we play late night. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> no, wow. Wait. Whoa. <laughs> Not oh, what I was talking about. It was like storing drinks for later. Touch my chest cavity. <laughs> Extra Ooh. ration. I see. Girl. Wow. I'll keep that in mind for storage. Okay. I, it's got, I got to be good yeah. for something. I'm, I'm pretty lame. Yeah, so far. Get snacks in there, obviously. Exactly. Snacks. You just like, get drunk really fast. You <laughs> just pour your whole tankard in your chest. <laughs> Jesus. Sloshing around. Jesus. <laughs> hey, guys, <laughs> listen to this. <laughs> we'll, we'll say I can. Okay, great. Yeah. So there you, you go. Hold one extra small item. I should be able to. <laughs> yeah, Come on. True. I just imagine you have just a bunch of like a pile of leaves and sticks in there. <laughs> you just like reach into your chest cavity and like grab some and eat it like snacks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crunching on leaves. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. It's, it's my like, it's my hole. I can do what I want. It's like that that popcorn <laughs> trick where you wear a hoodie backwards and you put all your popcorn yeah. in the hood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a, that's a trick. Yeah, yeah. The, the crag kangaroo. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, you just like have little little baby crag hearts in there. <laughs> pet rocks. Oh, oh goodness! Oh that's goodness! Funny. The pet rocks. All right. We're all set. Does everybody have their cards? 
I, have I, one, I yeah. think so. Okay. Yeah, I think we could squeeze one more round in here. Yeah, I want to go. All yeah. right. So the sh the shaman is going to be moving at a minus one, but then attack plus one. Uh, and he has a 74 initiative. The guards have a 50 initiative. They're going to move and attack, but at no advantage. Hmm. Uh, and then finally, the archers are going to move uh, at no advantage and then attack minus one, range plus one. And it looks like they immobilize whoever they hit. Wow. Mm. Oh, shit. Yeah. So they have a 29. So they're the lowest initiative once again. And then nope. we flip over ours. That's Psych. good. Oh, I don't know. I might be rivaling you. What'd you get? I got a seven. Oh, uh, that is hard to beat. Yeah, I got an 18. 13. Damn, are Ooh. we all going like... Yeah, we're all we going did it, you guys. Let's kill them. We got it. it. <laughs> nice. All right. That's awesome. So, Nikki, I think you're first, right? You have a seven? Yes. Yours is the lowest. So, one. I'm going to heal plus three with the bottom of my mana bolt first. Oh, oh, good. Uh, I was worried okay. about that, but I couldn't get to you to heal you, so I'm glad you took care of that. Nice. Yeah. Well, I had a couple options. Like, I could have used my health potion, but I didn't really want to use that yeah. yet. Um, and then for this top one, this move's super cool. I'm really excited about this. This is called Impaling Eruption. So it's an attack three, range of four. Additionally, all target or target all enemies on the path to the primary target, and I get a experience for each enemy. Oh, so wow. I am targeting the Enox Guard 3 and will also impale Bandit Guard 4. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. Nice. For two experience. Jeez. Nice. Yes. Uh, okay. And that spins the nature. Or no, no, you, inf you re infuse I, nature. Bring it back yes. up, which I like. So I'm going to play this out as if I'm like throwing my impaling eruption so i'm actually going to hit bandit guard number four first so i'm going to draw All my right. modifier for him and it is a oh, oh, minus man. one so it's okay. three T two damage okay on right? bandit guard four uh four. four you said two damage yes yeah, so oh I'm so one close. close i can't believe it do i have is there anything i can do i might be able to take care of him Okay, yeah, Deb's pretty much going next. Okay, um, and so, then uh, let's go ahead and pull the modifier for the second guy. Oh, another I know, one. that's what happened on my turn. A bunch of negatives. So, <gasps> so two? Two, two damage. Two. I next two, card. Next three. Three. Two. Yeah, and that is it for my turn. All right. Boy. I'm going to get two experience. Rough draws. Could have um, been awesome. I'm debating changing up what I was going to do because otherwise it's like a huge waste of although hmm. are you are you next for sure no I, I'm next I think I think yeah you're next and then Gabe so I'm okay I'm after everybody yeah, um, I'll just wait. you want me to hold off or did you want to figure something out before I went no no it doesn't matter I, no. okay I'm definitely next, right? 13? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Okay. Um, okay. Hopefully I did better than last time. Um, I'm going to be using the top of Avalanche, I believe. The Hynix Archer 2, where is he at? He's got a hit points, so he's full. So, yeah. And if you look at it, the Hex, I think I can hit those two elites with this, right? Uh, let me see. The avalanche? Yes, right. yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I get to infuse, use the infused earth. Uh, so it's going to be a total of five attack plus my modifier. So hopefully I'll lay in some good damage to him. So five? Um, yeah. Okay. And, and I you've got two XP. Or you get one XP. Okay. I'll do that. So or no, I draw you get two. Sorry. One for the bonus because you're using nature magic and then one below that. Oh, yeah. Cool. Okay. Awesome. So I'll draw the first mod. So, so far it's a five. And let's say this is against uh, Inex Guard Elite. Does he have more hit points? Oh. Uh, I think, are I they guess pretty they, close? 
Uh, the Inex Scar has one less, but it doesn't, so it doesn't really matter. They're both full health. Okay. Yeah. So here's his modifier card. Minus one, so that's four. Jeez, I've drawn nothing but negatives on out the, of my damn on, deck. On the Inex card? Or the Inex? Yes. Okay. One, yeah. two, three, four. Uh, but it's only three because he has a shield. Oh, okay. No, that's so, the Bandit Guard. Oh. This guy retaliates. Oh. Okay. So he retaliated against me for two? Yeah. Okay. So he does go down to four health, right? Right. Yeah. Okay. I'm down okay. to two health. That's fun. Uh, and then the modifier. So this is for the bandit guard, right? Yep. Uh, awesome. Another minus one. So, geez, oh. my deck is nothing but negative. So that's... Um, no form... Minus should be only because the shield i drew a negative one it was four so oh, that's okay. three and then he has no 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 i'm sorry it was yeah, five yeah it was five and then it goes to four and then down to three okay so yeah three so that was supposed to be my big attack and was not much i am going to use my minor healing potion also to get Good. health back still doesn't put me up that high up to five and my second action is the um, unstable upheaval. So all allies suffer one damage, which I guess that's nobody. Uh, shield two. Wait, all allies. It doesn't have a range on it. Oh, I guess I assume that's adjacent. God, this card. Yeah, that... Why would you want this card <laughs> oh but I, the I, shield but the shield too affects all of us though yeah, yeah but it, why do you have to damage yeah. him to do it because he throws it at our face it's hard to catch <laughs> yeah. well it's Jeez. it's he's basically putting up a wall of ground in front of us and we're all caught off guard and we're like ah fuck and we got like clipped mm. by some flying that rocks sucked. or something i was mostly rocks. learn mostly, where to aim your rocks buddy <laughs> mostly doing it for myself to need the shield but but that's kind of cool that it affects all allies. There's no range on it. Yeah, yeah. sorry guys. So pretty we each baller. take a damage. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but then you all have shield too, and it I... lasts until the end of this round. Oops. Does I'm that include gonna... myself? Yeah. Use well, these weird things so. as my shields. There my like go. circle dudes. <laughs> Those are like for minions and stuff. Yeah. And Do we have a shield token? I don't think there is. I'm just going to use the infinite tokens on my character sheet and pretend they're shields. <laughs> Little itty bitty baby shields. Yeah. That's, that's it for tiny me. Shield dots. Here, Deb. Yeah. I'll, fix, I'll fix it for you. So I'm Another fan Thanks. You give me boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Another fantastic turn of negative itty draws. Bitty, or... Itty bitty titties. Listen, I, they can be a little bigger, right? Okay. <laughs> Mine Maybe just... their eyes, their eyeballs. Okay, I guess I'm next, right? Yeah. Oof, that time. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna summon a rat swarm. Or you can be Mickey Ooh. Mouse. And I'm assuming they go. <gasps> oh next yeah, I could be right? Mickey Mouse. Oh. So you... let's see. You get a rat swarm. Okay. Let's go to Disney together, Nikki. So I'll put <laughs> yeah. them here. Yeah. Mickey Mouse ears, huh? And then. Um... <laughs> You got a nice, uh... So I guess set that gives a, me set of shields there. Like... <laughs> I think I think Gabe's going, guys. Sorry. <laughs> or trying to. Okay, so they go they go up by two. Uh, what? Which one? Oh, were you, do you put a at? you put a thing there? Yeah, I summoned a... a rat swarm. Ooh, a gnawing horde. Nice. Ooh. Yeah. So Gross. so this card stays out, I guess, until they die, and they have six HP. They do two damage and can move one. Uh, so the nice thing is, and I think they go after I finish my turn. They, uh, I thought it said they went before. Oh, do they always go before? Yeah. Okay, I thought I would guess I was thinking descent rules where they could go before or after, but that's cool. I think it's always before. Okay, and then I make myself invisible again. I was going to lose my invisibility, but now I'm invisible again. Oh, nice. Nice. Mm. Crazy. So, That's yeah. really good to keep you invisible. <laughs> yeah. So it basically locks out those other dudes from doing it. Wait, is it invisible one use? 
Uh, my car, but I, I have an ability that just did that. Oh, oh, my bad, my bad. So I made myself invisible again. Double invisible. Exactly. All right, so All right. that's it for me. Okay, so now I gotta go. Um, so I think I'm gonna switch up what I was gonna do because I have to tidy up those guards down there or shit's gonna get bad. <laughs> so yeah. um, I am going to use my toxic bolt, which is the top of this, and attack Attack two at a range of three plus poison. What does poison do? I think everybody it who increases attacks, damage. Everybody who attacks power. after that, yeah, does extra damage. Oh, okay. Well, I gotta kill the person then. So I'm probably gonna be conservative and go for the bandit guard instead yeah. of the Inox guard because I want to guarantee we kill them. Okay. Because we can't lose another dude. However, the archer. Well, the archer should. Would the archer go for me at disadvantage? If he can move, he would, like, move one away and then shoot you. Okay, yeah. got it. Yeah, yeah. He would All focus right, which you. which he can, so... Well, Should can he move? To... It's plus zero move, it... but that's not no oh, move, so... Yeah. Oh, yeah, we did draw his card, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he should move. All right, so I will... I will attack the bandit guard. Okay. For... Oh, and wait, did I want to do... No, I'm not going to do that. I was going to use my potion, but I'm not going to do that anymore because I don't have two attacks. So, um, Okay, so just two. One of these guys. Plus one. Okay, so three three damage to the guy with one health. Yep. Yay! So I'll, keep uh, uh, I'll put up here the ones we've killed. So oh, you're going to keep it? Five. Okay. And, and then, then I'm actually, the my other thing is shield one affects self and all adjacent allies. And then I, I guess I tap this. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, I think that means until the end of the round. Everybody gets that until the end of the round and you discard it. Oh, okay. That's what that symbol means, yeah. It's active all until right. the end of the round, yeah. So, kind of like the other one. Mm -hmm. Ooh, cat's All in right. trouble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I've got a nose. Knock over a whole shelf. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a true mouse now. All right. Okay, so that's my turn. Nice. Okay, so yeah. we actually have all gone, right? Except for the enemies? I right? think so, and which is nice. As chat pointed out, they should be focusing us with our low initiatives as much as possible, so yeah. that's good. Yeah. Okay, so first we have the archers, um, starting with uh, this elite archer here, or bandit archer. Um, so they don't move, or they do move. Attack minus one and range plus one. Okay, so I'm assuming that how far it's can attack... they move? Uh, it looks they'll, like... they'll probably attack me. Okay. Because I'm the lower initiative. So right. they so they have a move of two. Or no, three. No, two, sorry. Two. Okay, they're probably going to go, like, here, because they want to get away from that Inox guard, too. Yeah, yeah. And but then, then shoot you. they might hit me with the lower initiative. No, they're already... They focus first, so they're yeah, they focus oh. yeah. so they're focused Yeah, they focus and Luckily. On... Right. Sorry, Deb. Deb. <laughs> no, it's fine. I have three armor. I'm, like, ready. That's why well, we I all move. have armor. That's right. Yeah. That's okay, why I didn't move. So, um, so it looks like they're doing three damage right now, this guy is. But it's at a minus one because of the action card. So two, Oop, one. And then minus one. So All right, nothing. so I take no damage. Sick so life. <laughs> I, I hit you in the face with a rock, but now that rock kind of helps Saved you. your life. Yeah. Well, hit, me, hit me in the face, but yeah. And then, <laughs> and then uh, somebody shot an arrow past my head. Uh, <laughs> Craghart, what a guy. All right, so this Inex... <laughs> oh, no, that's the Shaman. Okay, so next is the Inex Archer. Um, and I'm assuming he's going to hit the sh the Shaman again. So Yeah, I would think so. And the Shaman's pretty full, so, so this will looks... be... Oh, but he would move away first, right? Yeah, at least one space okay. somewhere. There you go. So he'll move here and then shoot... I didn't shoot the Shaman... 
I shot the shaman. That's two. There you go. That's two. One more. <laughs> but I did not shoot the Enox God. Oh, no, no. So uh, is, it looks like he's doing three damage, minus one for the action card, and then, ooh, double Whoa. damage. Ooh. Ouch. Critical. Is that, is that six? Right? Yeah. Oh, shit. Wow. Oh, but no. he's not dead. It's four because it's minus one because the action card. Okay. So four on the shaman. Did you get that, about, Joe? Uh, I will get it. About half his health. So four on the shaman. Yeah. I see. And is he slash Deb immobilized? Oh, now? you're right. He is. He there is you immobilized. Go. I don't know if Deb doesn't get it because of shield or it doesn't matter. That's a good question. We'll have you to. You still apply effect. Okay. No, that's okay. I don't think I was going to move anyway. <laughs> All right. So this bandit archer here is just a regular guy. He's doing two minus one, so he's only doing one damage. Who and he's hitting Deb or Nick? Or Nikki? Nikki? Yeah. Okay. All right. So plus one, so two damage, I think. Well, he would have moved, right? He can still move. Oh yeah, so he would have moved one away. But he'd still be focused on you. Yes. Yeah. So two damage is what it adds up to. Don't forget your shields, which I think... I had two shields, so I'll just oh. absorb it. Yep, yep, you blocked it. Woo! And I'm immobilized. Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. And then this uh, Onyx Archer up here... Man, there's so much immobilization going on this game. Yeah. That didn't happen, like, at Wait, all. We already did that, game. Archer. Uh, oh, yeah, because he moved to the side. Yeah, you're right. Okay. He shot the shaman. <laughs> so <laughs> this Inox archer is going to shoot Joe, I'm assuming? Yeah. Um, yeah, and is he in range of it? Uh, See, do, yeah, do they focus first, or do they yeah, just... Yeah, they, they always focus, focus first. first yeah. But, but, or do they pick a different target knowing it's in a disadvantage, and then that's the new focus rather than... I, I think they always focus and then move based on... Yeah. The, okay, because chat know. was asking someone about that. I'm too. pretty sure I remember reading that. So the yeah. Inex basic okay. archer does two damage, but it's minus one because the action card. So plus one, oh. so two. So back up to two? Yeah, two damage. So I have a shield too, right? I, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Do you? do you? Okay. The card says shield to affect all allies. Do am I included in that? I don't know. I would imagine. Aren't we all allies? <laughs> really, man. Well, some of know. them say specifically, like mine said, affects self and all adjacent allies. Mm. But oh, I don't know. Okay. So you may. That's so, a gray area shield. to me, because it's not an adjacent one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I didn't lose a damage then to apply the shield, which unlike all you guys did. So I went back up one, but now I go down two. Okay. Since the shield's not on me, so down to three. Yeesh. Okay, so those are all the archers. Um, next are the guards. Okay, starting left to right. Uh, this guy's not immobilized, so they move. So he moves two. Two. He can only move two. So that puts him here, and he's going to attack the Bandit Archer Elite 1. Who's got four hit points. Uh, the Inex Guard is doing two damage right now. With his modifier, three damage. Ooh. Three damage on Elite 1. Oh boy. Elite 1 what? Uh, Archer. I got it. I got it. But oh, I'll let you okay. do the ones from now on. Okay. So this Inex guard over here, I'm assuming he's going to attack Deb. Yeah. So he's doing th three... Three With three a damage. modifier, minus one. So just two damage. So nothing, because I have shields. Yeah. Okay. Um, Sick. This... I'm a fucking tank. <laughs> this character is broken! <laughs> this Bandit guard is going to move down, and he is... Doing three damage with the modifier. Nothing. So just three damage. Hell yeah! <laughs> eat it! Wow, just you're blocking up to three? Yeah. Eat right. it! Damn. There we go. Three. <laughs> three songs. <sighs> yep. So I think I stalemated these two guards wow. again. Yep. Oh, actually, this one can go here and attack yep. the bandit archer. Oh, here. there we go. 
Okay, so uh, Bandit right, nice. Guard. He hasn't the... been attacked, attacked yet, right? Right. Ban uh, yeah. So Bandit Guard 3 is only doing 2 damage. Modified by nothing. And your other Enox Guard should attack your Horde, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. He will. Okay, so the Bandit Archer takes how much damage? 2? Yeah, 2. You got that, Joe? Bandit Archer what number? 3. 3. Bandit Archer 3 takes two. All right, he's down to three. Okay, so the Inex Guard is doing two modified by... So he's only doing one. So my... Uh, I'll use money to equal wounds on these rats. Okay, so they took one damage. They got five left. Okay, so the, the guards are done down here. So the two up there with Joe have to attack. Um, they'll both attack Joe. Man, I cannot get out of trouble up here. Bandit Guard Elite 1 is doing 3 damage. I feel like we really need a roll check on that shield Oof. thing four. to be absolutely certain. So he's so doing 4? Yeah. Killed. Um, I need so. to look up how to lose cards. Where is that at? Um... Attack and damage, because I know you can lose cards mm -hmm. it to negate all of the... What would that be? Damage? I thought you shuffle your discard pile and randomly choose one to lose, right? Uh, Yeah, it's... I, I, was, I, I could just find it. I found it last time. Character turn, monster turn. Let's see. Attack. There's healing on page 26. Yeah, is it under there or is it under damage? Oh, or character damage on 28. That's probably what it is. 28, let's see. Yeah, because I know I found it last time. Okay. Whenever any damage is dealt to a character, that player has two options. Suffer the damage and move your hit points, which is obvious, or choose one card to lose from a hand or two from discard pile to negate the oh, damage, sorry. but any additional effects are applied. And you get to choose them, so that's good. One from hand or two from discard pile. Okay, so to negate this four damage, one from hand... Okay. I want to say one thing before we do this. If an ability has a targeting qualification below it, example, self or affect all allies at X range or simply range X, and it is beneficial, then you can enhance it with bless strengthen. So the way, because the question was asked, what abilities count as targeting allies or yourself? Is I, self included? Uh, I feel like... Mm. I feel like self is included in all allies, but okay. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm gonna well, keep we'll, googling this because we'll play. You it won't like have this to take then... damage if you know what I mean. Like I'll the other the cards for now, and then if we figure it out, like even in between shows, we'll come back. I'll come back. We'll come back and correct it. Yeah, you could just okay. set them to the side, the ones that you Let's discarded. See. Set them beside the lost pile or something. Okay. Uh, so there, I picked. So I that? picked two. Okay, yeah. so now you're taking three more damage from the Inux guard. Nope. This is from the other guy. The other guy, right? Okay, this one's gonna have to come from my hand. There we go. Oof, getting down there. Okay, so then the only thing that we have left is the shaman. He cannot move. He's immobile, so he loses that, but he can't move. But then he's gonna attack plus one. He has a range of three, so I think he's going to hit Deb. What? So he's two away from it, from three guys, including you, three people, including you. Yeah, he'd hit me. Okay. Uh, let's see. Because is it an is it an archer or a shaman? a shaman? Oh, it's a shaman. He's got range. Yeah. 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 Then he'll hit over the obstacle. So he's doing four damage right now. Um, Come on, minus one. Oh, oh nothing! Jeez, <laughs> why can't I get some of that? I'm taking on like four people. Get at me, Joe. What's yeah. up? <laughs> yeah. I'm just so tiny. Okay. <laughs> like yeah. float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, so that's the so that's the end of the round. We just have to uh, reduce element strength, which there's none up. Uh, anybody want to do a short rest? Can you remind me of the rules for short rest? Uh, you two? lose one of your discard pile, one randomly, and then you get to recover the rest into your hand. So unless unless I I usually wait until I have like almost nothing no left cards. in my hand. Yeah. <laughs> You you didn't your summoned guy didn't get hit right Gabe at this turn at all. Uh, he, did. he did get hit, but for one hit point. Okay, you didn't add the shield to him, did you? Uh, was I supposed to? No, the shield was before him. Chat was asking about. Oh that. no, I didn't. I just took because he because the guy who hit him only did one damage total. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I don't know. Did we loot enemies in this scenario? Yes. And they, oh, I don't we think we were the, putting oh, we the coins put, down. Yeah, we gotta put coins down Dude. under whoever two, died. So two, two guys have two died. guys died. I think one was here, right? Darn it! One was on the left hand side of the board. Does the loot only yeah. drop if we kill him, or is it just drop? Period? I think it always drops. I think this is a weird scenario yeah. because usually we're the only ones killing, so I think we might have to call this one ourselves. Wait, didn't I kill the? No, no, I Where killed the it? dude that was here. Okay. Yeah. So I think it was the bandit guard was there. Yeah. All right, so we're good. We just got to remember remember that. Oh, boy. Um, we have a lot of people really low. <laughs> so the only one, thing... three, three, one, two. Yeah. Ugh. I'm thinking I might short rest. Uh, hold on. Yeah, maybe if people... It sucks because we want low initiative and big group area of effect attacks, and it's like that's asking for a lot to do a lot of stuff. Oh, but now I'm immobilized. Hmm. Uh, yeah, let me save it. Cause we if we can if we can find a way for uh, like Gabe to go first and move here, and then you use your crazy. Although no, that's still not enough. I was gonna say that guy would move up, but never mind. Uh, before hard. you save it, I I'm, I still gotta pick one card. To... We gotta figure so, out there. Is all right. So I'm gonna I'd save it that. so we can do the table flip. Or do you want to put that? that on the side? What's in that? case we find out that that rule is wrong and yeah, you have I'll, to adjust your stuff. I'll remember because it's the three only cards I've discarded. Because two were from discard pile and one was from uh, my hand for both of the attacks. Okay. okay. So I've got it saved. So we can remember to do the table flip this time, which we always forget. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for staying up a little bit later with us so we can finish the second round. It should uh, hopefully go more quickly next time, plus better for us. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. hopefully. Yeah. There's a lot well, of stuff I mean, out here. Some well, of right us for me. Off. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think, gosh. Well, Gabe, you didn't do too bad. I think I was the only one that really just stunk. Oh, up. do we get rid of all of our armor? Uh, yeah, so it's the end of the round, so all of that armor, and, and I think I looked at Joe's card too, it only oh, lasts yeah. till the end and of the round. I discarded at the end of the round. So that's yeah. the one, and I'll set that, that's the one that wasn't discarded by that rule we're looking at. Right. Alright, well, um, definitely check out our VODs, or if anyone missed it, um, our VODs are always available on Mondays at 11.30 a.m. Um, tell your friends... Uh, get some more friends on here to help us make decisions and uh, Cl clean up the rules. Yeah. We're going to tear down this tavern as well. We need some help. Her after Heroic party. Logic has said it's been clarified you are not your own ally. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, do we, we need to empower um, Earth too because I, I had that on my poison oh, okay. thing that I used. So it'll be down. When I killed that guy. To the middle. Yeah. 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 We'll have to resave. Yeah. Oh, yep. You're right. Yeah. Okay. So uh, who's gonna who's gonna do the flipping? I guess we'll wait. To, so just make sure uh, tune in next week. Watch our vods uh, on Monday, and of course check out all the other great misclick shows throughout the week. Um, you can check the schedule on misclicks uh, Twitch. They have it all up there, so you can see what to watch. And who's gonna flip? Me. I sucked by far. <laughs> do it. Do it. The worst. Do it. Mm. Oh, no, I you, you. Frank, <laughs> you get right, another leave chance. It, leave it, it to is. the person who can take four people. It's not my night. You get I'm another. Depressed. Yeah, 
Let I try again. Okay, right. this probably won't work, but. See? Oh, oh my goodness. I quit. I, let me, I quit. Let me show you how it's done, Joe. All right, please. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Luck, she's <Ooh>. fickle, no? <laughs> All right. Well, have a great week, and we'll see you uh, next Saturday. Night. Bye. Bye.